the I think the most the positive thing about the web always has been this just the sort of the distributed creativity. All the people across the world who joined in then, uh, they were people I never knew. They were people in different countries. They were people in different fields. They were people who had an internet and thought that it would be really neat if lots if everything was on the web. So they just put their stuff on the web. And there are people who'll do that if that they'll think if when something is in that state that it would be great if everybody did it. Some people will do it just if everybody did it. And it's been the same ever since. Now we're putting data on the web with linked, uh, linked open data. It's being started by people who are just doing that. They think it really great if we had all the data on the web and so I will put my data on the web. And it's, so it's been this distributed, excited, uh, very sort of pro-human uh, collaboration of cr creative people. That's the best. Well, there's no, of course, with a, when you negative, there's uh, ne the negative aspects of the web or positive aspects of the web. When you look out there, there's good stuff and there's bad stuff. When you look out there, it's being made by humanity. Humanity has makes good things and bad things, uh, whatever the medium. So when you look out there and you look at books and letters, you'll find horrible ones and you'll find beautiful ones. So um, I don't really dare too much at the, the, the bad ones or celebrate too much the good ones. I know that they're all, uh, but it's all uh, in, in the end going to be the way humanity takes it. And, when it, and I'm very optimistic, of course, about humanity. The web's going to involve, uh, in some ways that we, we, that we know and we can push, and some ways that we don't, well, that we can't know now. The, so things which are very important at the moment, the W3C, for example, has a mobile web initiative, which is, uh, has been making sure that it works as well as possible on mobile devices. This is important not only because people have things in their pockets in the developed world, but also in developing countries. Uh, it really can, can be the first way that you can get internet co connectivity to somebody who can use it to help themselves uh, in, in develop, help their village develop economically, uh, to get health get in, uh, healthcare, um, clean water and things. Sometimes it can be useful to have a little bit of connectivity, could be part of the bootstrap process. So that's um, one of the very important areas. There are lots of exciting technical areas all the time. There are new data formats that are uh, being produced. Um, as I say, the getting data onto the web is something really important to look at now. At CERN, people should be putting data onto the web, uh, particularly those bits of data which uh, children in school can be, should be able to play with, should be able to, so that kids can look at them and find all the, uh, there should be lists of particles with all, all their properties, should be on the web as data so that people can pull them into a spreadsheet and play with them. So that, and there's now there's a new linked open data movement, which is, uh, of people who uh, think that it's exciting to put all this linked data together. Uh, that's, uh, that's very exciting. Um, there will always be things, there must always be things that people develop on top of the web that we can never imagine. So the most important thing for, for people developing the web now is to make sure that it's a nice, stable platform, that it's clean, that it doesn't assume anything about what people are going to be building on top of it. And you've seen the amount of creativity that, you, that people have used into developing different websites, different for web 2.0 applications. They're doing that based on all the standards because the standards are built to be a base for future creativity. So the really important thing about the web is that what's developed on top of it is things that we can't right now imagine at all. I think the biggest threat to the web has always been uh, an attempt to, by a company or a government, to try to control it. When there's always been a temptation, when the web was growing, there were some companies who tried to be the one place you go for information. You should dial up to our information system and they try to make it, uh, they'd say it's a, it's a control information system, it's better quality, you should come here. But it always they found that they can never compete with the rest of humanity all producing wonderful things. So, in general, the 
the walled gardens that try to keep you in and kind of keep you locked in um, have been bad for the, are bad for the web. They're not web-like. So um, there's always a temptation for internet service providers, for example, to try to control which websites you get to. Because if they can control which websites you go to, they can control where you buy things, which is a lot of money. They can control which religions that uh, you hear about. They can control which political opinions you see. They've got a huge, now that people use inter the internet for so much of their lives, an internet service provider has a huge amount of control. So it's very important that we keep the internet as a neutral platform that allows you to talk to anywhere. It's very important that we keep the web as this, uh, this universal standard that allows you, allows you to connect from anything to anything. So the, so, uh, biggest, the, so the biggest threats are the, th are the threats to that. Uh, interference, people who try to interfere internet with the internet on its way, um, people who, uh, who try to snoop on it, so that, uh, who, who try to uh, install things in the middle of the internet, which look at what you're doing, so that, in fact, you, when you look at a, a site which, uh, about cancer, for example, you're worried that the, your next time you try to get life insurance, you won't be able to get it because actually the news has leaked out that you were, went to a, a website about cancer. So you won't. Get, so the, you know that, that when people stop using the web for a lot of things if they think that there's always somebody watching. So very important that the, that nobody censors the web uh, and nobody snoops on it to find out about you so that you're a free individual human being when you use it. And when I say nobody, I mean that's both corporations and governments we have to watch out about. I don't put things in order like that. Over one of many wonderful things in the, uh, in the world, and just like with people, they're all different. <laughs> so I don't put them in order. I don't put them in order. I also, okay, I, if I had dated it, I would have dated it. 